What's up guys, this is Dennis from Boster and in this quick video I'm going to show you definitely one of my favorite tools for email discovery which is called the Company Email Finder. It's a very straightforward and easy to use a bot which basically takes in a domain name and returns a list of emails that are associated with it. It kind of sounds like magic but really there's nothing magical to it. You can read about the mechanics of the bot and how it works in detail on the bots page uh, here in the description um, but in this video I'm just going to show you how it works and hopefully you'll be able to understand how you can significantly upgrade your outreach and uh, cold email discovery processes with this tool. Now before I continue please hit the like button to support our channel and hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more automation tutorials and videos just like this one. Okay, now let's get back to the bot and the first thing that you will need to do is sign up on Botster. Next, you can find the company email finder bot by using this search bar right here or just follow the link that I'm going to put in the description of this video. And next, um, of course, go ahead and read the documentation of the bot to understand the mechanics behind it. And after you do, click the start bot button to begin working with the bot. Now the first thing that you will need to do is name your job that the bot will create for you. This is an optional step but I do recommend you do that. Uh, so let's name it email finder demo and next all you need to do is fill in the domain names of the companies you would like to get emails off. So as you can see there's a warning do not use www um, in those domain names and each domain must go on a new line. That's simple enough. So let's uh, fill this form out. So let's say I need to outreach to a bunch of universities. So for that I collect a small number of uh, university websites which I'm going to paste right into here and at this point I can already start the bot but as you can see there's also a small block which allows you to select the types of notifications that you can get once the bot completes the job. So you can either get an email notification um, and select whether you would like to attach the results of um, this particular job to that email. You can connect and send the result files to Slack, um, to Telegram. If you're using some kind of um, automation uh, chain you can send yourself a JSON post request and of course you can connect um, this bot to Zapier for a more complex automation uh, sequence. Now I'm not going to do any of that this bot works really fast and I'm just going to hit the green start this bot button and wait for my results to roll in. As you can see the job was successfully created and is now um, transitioned into the active state and it's already completed. You can see that some of my requests have been refunded which means the bot uh, could not find any emails for one of the domains or maybe more, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Let's click the view data button and uh, see what uh, the bot returned. As you can see uh, the bot returned a bunch of emails. So here's how you should read the table. The domain is the domain which the bot um, scan the emails for, the email is that the email that the bot found and then we have up to five pages uh, which basically confirm that this particular email exists, right? So this particular email was mentioned on this page, this page, this page and two other pages and this basically explains how the bot works, right? So there are crawlers that are constantly harvesting data from the internet uh, on the back end and um, when an email is found the bot retrieves it and uh, it also has this proof that the email has been um, mentioned on, uh, on an HTML document and these pages are provided um, here, right? So if we scroll down you'll see that the bot found um, well enough emails for you to, um, to get busy with your outreach process. Now let's see which domain uh, the bot wasn't able to locate email data for 
And if we scroll down, you can see that it's the westliberty.edu, nothing found. And now I can see why, because that was my mistake, actually. I broke my own rules, and instead of providing a domain with no uh, subdomain in it, I've pasted in a domain with a subdomain. So let's grab this domain, westliberty.edu, and uh, restart the bot. Uh, let's name it West Liber Liberty EDU. Paste it right into here. Start this bot. Wait a little bit for the bot to return some data. Click the view data. And as you can see, after I corrected myself and provided the information properly, the bot returned 60 emails that are associated this with this particular domain. Of course, there are caveats to this script and it's not going to work 100% of the time. And uh, for smaller domains, less popular domains and, and domains that don't have their emails mentioned anywhere on the internet, the bot's not going to return anything. So keep that in mind when you're working with this bot. But other than that, this bot really helps us out in our day-to-day -day outreach processes and I hope you will find it useful as well. Well, this is basically it. You've reached the end of the video. Make sure to give us a big fat like. Make sure to subscribe to our uh, future tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.